Mr. Hicken, prior to you going to the bridge in the afternoon, were you in contact with the Minister of Home Affairs? No, sir. At any time on the 18th of July 2012, were you in contact with the Minister of Home Affairs? No, sir. <laughs> Would you indicate to the Commission to whom you reported the occurrences of the 18th of July 2012? Mr. Leroy Bramel, Commissioner of Police, Captain. Senior Superintendent Clifton Hicken responding to questions from lawyer representing the Guyana Police Force, Peter Yu. Whether or not Home Affairs Minister Clement Rohe was in contact with and instructed Hicken on July 18th has been brought to the commission by lawyer for the victims, Nigel Hughes. He had asked Acting Police Commissioner Leroy Bramel on Monday about the possibility of the minister calling either or both cell numbers belonging to Senior Superintendent Hicken. This morning, Hicken, who gave an idea of what transpired in Linden on the 18th, said that he was not at the bridge when the shooting occurred. He was at the Mackenzie Police Station. About 19.30 hours p.m., I received information via cell phone from the unit commander, Assistant Superintendent Todd. that he was informed via cell phone someone was injured. I went to Mackenzie Hospital and was met by an unruly crowd. Hicken had earlier told the commission that he arrived in Linden at 5.30 hours that day. He recalled crowds gathering on the Mackenzie Bridge and said that persons blocked it with debris and tents. He said that all of this was reported to the police commissioner who told him to speak to the people to have them move. Hicken said that he spoke to Region 10 Chairman Sharma Solomon and activist Lincoln Lewis. Hicken told the commission that later that day the crowd on the bridge grew and people were cooking on the bridge. He said that the police commissioner then instructed him to clear the bridge. For Prime News, Nazima Ragabir.